Hello. <clears throat> I bought this uh, test jig to test resistance and capacity of 18650s, reclaimed 18650s, on a ZB206 battery tester. When I bought this jig, I didn't know it was a kit. I had no clue, and to my surprise, it took me a while to put this thing together. I had to figure it out from pictures on the internet. Uh, to save a little time, I've put some of the standoffs on the side panels and done some of the wiring. Uh, we have two sizes of standoffs. We have two long ones and two short ones. The long ones go on the main side panels and the short ones go on the side panels of the little car that holds the negative contact. Uh, I'll go over the wiring real quick since uh, it's already put together. For your negative contact, you get this big one, and this is the back plate for uh, the car. For your resistance tests, you have a spring-loaded pin here, and that wire solders on to a pin that sticks out the back of here, and you have ring terminals that get bolted on right here uh, that you put on the other wires. I already put the ring terminals on and soldered the center pin contact for a resistance measurement. And here is the one with the front of the car. It's got a smaller diameter, uh, but that's what the front panel of the uh, main body looks like. And here's what the, uh, the center panel of the car that moves back and forth with different size batteries looks like. This one also has a ring terminal and uh, the wire is soldered to the center pin of this movable contact. This one also is spring loaded, so you can set your car length for a certain length battery and just push it back to load your batteries in. All right, so here is the rear car. This is the bottom panel. This is the center panel. It goes in that slot right there. And the bottom panel have that upside down. No, here we go. Put my bottom panel on and then I put these tab A and the slot B. that out of the way. And now for the main body. Here are the sides. And here are small rails that the teeth on the car engage in to, uh, to lock for your different size batteries. You'll notice the long part here with no teeth on it. It goes towards the front of the car or towards the front of the body where the uh, positive contact is. I put these on here. I put the rear panel on. And 
also these negative wires they were far too short to do a clean install with them uh, on other installations I have seen of these these came let me finish putting this together Now this movable car has tabs that protrude in the slot to help hold in space, but you can put it in a spot and it just stays locked in through those teeth with pressure. But better installations I had seen, it had longer negative wires and they would go underneath and out the bottom would be a big loop here to allow it to move back and forth. But they would be zip tied to these holes right here and then come out through these little holes here so all the wires will come out one way. And eventually I will get some better quality wires that are long enough. I want to use some silicone wire that's black. Uh, but that's basically it. It's all put together. Uh, I've already added the... Uh, Voltage sense wires and it works pretty good. Thanks for watching.